Hi guys, how are you? I hope you guys had an awesome weekend and are doing great. I'm back because I just finished this little beauty here. And she is a one signature um, soft cover journal. I covered her in fabric and I used a vintage doily to wrap around the spine. I have one of these little... Um, what are they called? Like, like specimen little things. And I just use acetate and put a little flower there. The glare is going to be. And then I just have this little cluster of flowers and this little muslin that I stamped journal on. And then it has lace and it has the um, eyelid closure, metal corners. So this one I... I decided to kind of stir a little bit away from my norm. So let's see how it goes. And if it's a positive thing, then I will make more of these. But um, I added element. She is chunky, okay, because she's loaded. If you want to flatten her out, you can just remove some ephemera. All right. I used this beautiful, um, it's like organza with satin for the closure. So inside this fabric, I have a pocket here, a fabric pocket, and I added, um, I did some decoupaging on some tags and some stitching onto coffee dye paper. Here is a vintage postcard. And then I have this little thing. I think Dee sent me this. Thank you, Dee. Just like a paper doll, but um, you can journal in it. So you get that. That is vintage as well. Okay, so here you have a pocket, muslin pocket with some lace. And I just added um, a index card that I mod podged on. And then this is just, I use a lot of... Um, a lot of little things that I I already had made for a long time so I just it's like an all journal like I just added all kinds of different things into this journal to um, kind of clean up my stash of little little things that I have made here is some lace and then I altered a CD envelope and added a Tim Holtz doll, dangled a little button there, and then inside is a journal card that I just um, did some stitching on to coffee dyed paper. Here is a beautiful little page. My sister-in-law gave me a journal and it has all kinds of different pages, so Here's an altered uh, Rolodex card, and I just added some washi there. And then this is a vintage photo and a little card that I um, decoupaged on. So this I got inspired by um, Pam at the Paper Outpost, and she had dangled these little uh, playing cards and then underneath it is a little inspirational quote. So there's that. And then I painted the page for um, texture. This is a piece of um, handmade paper. And then in here, I just added a little envelope. It has nothing in it, but I always send a goodie pack. And then I just did some decoupaging there. Here is a envelope, one of these um, little envelopes, and I just added some goodies in here. So you have a vintage bridge tally card, a vintage flinch card, and another vintage photo. So that goes in there. And then you just do that. Um, this is an altered paper clip I will show you. So I took in and altered a paper clip. I just added some laces, these little 
um, uh, I think these are Tim Holtz words that Dee sent me, a little uh, notebook full of them. And yeah, that is that is the paper clip and that is holding this envelope. And I just added this washi here. And inside you have another vintage postcard. Sorry about the glare, guys. So I am taking too long, so let me just speed it up a bit because I don't want to keep you here forever. So that goes like that. Super cute. This is some handmade paper and I just scrunched it up. No, it's not handmade paper. It's mulberry paper. I just scrunched it up and put it on the edge of the page. And then here you have another little uh, fold out. And I just added those images there. And then this is a little flip. I just, I also gilded some of the things. Vintage book page. This is um, another little flip out. And you have another spot for journaling there. And then here's a little tag. And I, I, I forgot to... Hold on, I forgot to, there we go. Here's a little tag, little pocket with some lace. And Pam at the Paper Outpost, she takes the uh, Stabilo pen, um, no, pencil, and then she goes around it and then just smudges it with water. So it creates like a little bit of a depth. Little tag there, vintage book page. And then I have a little snippet, fabric snippet here. Here's a pocket with a vintage playing card and a card. And then this opens up and then you have this page here. So that's that. Some more vintage book pages. Here is a tag, another tag. Tag, and then I added some lace and then here is a pocket and in here I have a uh, vintage cigarette card or a tea card and then a little tag Pam um, not Pam um, D sent me that one too so thank you D for all my vintage goodies then it says imagination here on muslin that I stamped on But she is a chunky one an altered um, guest check and another beautiful playing card I like it because if this one is more darker and this one is lighter super cute the hat sent me that as well so that goes in there and hold with the paper clip super cute paper clip but a little vintage um, music design. Some tracing paper. And then here is a couple of little tags. And then this opens. And you have another tag here. Then I just did some gilding. I decoupage this um, napkin. And then she tucks right back in there. And it's magnetic. So you can journal in there as well. You can journal here, you can journal here, and then you can journal here. So here is a little flip and it has a pocket, fabric pocket, you can flip it down. And then in the back, it has a card. There's some collaging there. I'll bring it closer. A altered glassine bag that I decoupaged on and there is a large tag inside and then another journal card and then this is a pocket lace pocket this is a fold out so you have the full page journal something secret and then you can journal here and here and then when you're done, she just closes up. 
and it's magnetic and I just did this fabric snippet here is a little Tim Holtz girl and you know she holds something um, let's see what we can put in there because she does hold and I want to make sure that whoever gets the journal knows that she can let's hold on let's put something in there because <laughs> it seems like I always forget something just when I think that I I've covered everything just gonna do this real quick I don't like the stock white I hope you guys are doing well I have a couple of videos coming some crafts with me and some tutorials so um Oh, thank you. So here we go. This is a pocket. Just so you guys know. And then I have a card. And this is a vintage receipt. Beautifully aged. That they sent me. Vintage uh, dictionary page. And then here is an altered time card. And I just added a little pocket in the back. You can glue it if you want to. You can glue it down to a page or just have it like I put it floating around. And she just goes into this paper clip. Here we have, this is, um, a card and I just added some coffee dye paper so you guys can journal and then here is a little bag what are they called coin envelopes and I just added all kinds of vintage uh, little pieces this little um, B&W coupon this flips out you can do a little journal or save some dates in there this is vintage a little blue chip vintage stamp the half gallon stamp and then I just added a little butterfly there to tie it all together and then this goes in here this is an altered uh, window envelope and it has a card so you can journal or add a photo and I love it because she just peeks through and then two little journal cards and I just did um, some what is it called collaging there added uh, some uh, old lace little flower there Some washi here, another journal card here. And then it has a pocket. It's fabric pocket. And then that is that one. Here is um, again another one of the ones that I had showed, and I she is a little pocket, so let's stick something in there right behind her. And then this is a um, and I think this kit is called Grandma's Attic from My Porch Prints on Etsy. Here's a little fabric flip, that beautiful fabric, and I added like a, two la another layer on it, and then the lace. This is just washi. Here's another journal card and another little flip. And here is a pocket, and then here I put a little booklet in there, and another little snippet uh, piece, and then you can journal here, but this one also opens, and then you have the full page. So more of the uh, mulberry paper scrunched up. Here is an old uh, envelope. Did I put anything in here yet? I put an old vintage receipt. Love the color, it's caramelized. 
already with the aging. And then um, I gilded it a little bit. And then you have a journal card. And another journal card. And then I did some collaging here. And then there's another pocket. And in here I added another cigarette card and a little tag. Here's a little pocket, lace pocket with a couple of tags. And this is a envelope that I, a little baggie that I uh, decoupaged on with a card, some beautiful lace and lace at the bottom. And then here is a little cigarette card again. And then this one also opens up so you can journal. And in here I've added two vintage, actually this is antique because it's over a hundred years old. It's a return check from August 25th, 1919. I wonder which they bought for 975. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then here is a Another vintage one, 190 something, so you know this is antique. Certificate of deposit, 190 whatever it was. Super. I love looking at all these things. My friend D blessed me with a lot of vintage, uh, vintage ephemera, and I'm sharing it with you guys. Some more papers and then here you have another pocket and then this opens up and you have another tag and then here is a fold out and then inside is a little envelope and I just added a little journal card in there I added some cheesecloth and that goes right in there. It's a lovely little tag. Vintage book page. And here is, this This is a Tim Holtz package. And it was for the Tim Holtz little dolls, paper dolls. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. So I just cut it up, backed it onto paper and added it as a photo and then here is another altered paper clip here is a journal card with a little envelope with a little tag in there and I just did a little um, ruffling there with fabric and then in the back hopefully it didn't get no it didn't get stuck I just did this tag and in here you have a vintage tally card and I just added a Tim Holtz doll and added some twine as if she was holding onto it and then in the back you can journal in the back so that goes in there it almost looks like she's riding the rabbit right like she's sitting on the rabbit <laughs> after I, I glued her down I realized it too funny okay some more um, mulberry paper that I scrunched up and here is another pocket with some tags that I decoupaged on and another vintage postcard and this one is from 1925 and then this is the back and I just added an extra envelope with another vintage image. It's a postcard. So, yeah. That is the journal, guys. It is listed already in my Etsy shop. If you are interested, head on over. She is 
quite the beauty, quite chunky, but you can flatten her out by taking all the elements I put in there. All right, guys. So the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. It is Love Bound Journals on Etsy. And like I said, the hyperlink is down below. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I will be back because I'm going to be making some craft with me's and some tutorials. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Big hugs. Bye.